Welcome to the Wondrous Lab and today I got a feeling that we are going to solve some international chemi chemistry or Olympiad questions that I like and so from the 2019 and the problem T3 that it's about silver chloride it's uh, it's pretty basic this first part I think but it's it's nice some some, some clever things but nothing really far away from standard chemistry knowledge so let's get started so put your gear on because we're gonna do some applied chemistry the problem has some quotes from Gay Lussac and the first problem is about quote A that says I will now talk about silver chloride, a milk white solid. It is easily obtained by pouring hydrochloric acid into an aqua solution of silver nitrate. Okay, and quote A says write the balanced chemical equation of AgCl synthesis. So nothing really far away from our knowledge because Ag. In your tree. It's soluble in water, so if we put water here, it's gonna be Ag plus aquos plus nitrate aquos two, and then if we pour a bit of hydrochloric acid in water plus water gonna get some chloride aquos plus some HG3O plus some water acid acidic water hydroxone I don't think that it's how I talk in English so I don't care let's get into the equation so the equation is gonna be pretty simple so taking this in our minds it's gonna be Ag and O3 plus Cl in water we're gonna get AgCl it's a solid so it precipitates as the question says plus some nitrate plus plus the acid, so H3O plus if you want O or H, H plus echoes both of them and here I'm gonna buy liquid and solid but you're putting water and it dissociates so first very simple very everything <laughs> anyone can know this so it's more something that you should know too so so let's get to the second quote I'm gonna prepare the board okay now the second quote quote B gave us success this salt has no taste since it is insoluble and the quote B, B, quote B says Calculate the solubility of AgCl in water at two, 298 Kelvin in mol by liter. So, okay, we should look to the data, data <laughs> here first. So, pKs1 as one from AgCl, it's gonna be nine. 9.7 .7. and it's all we need to solve this problem so what is this Ks? it's gonna be the constant of equilibria so when we put AgCl in water it's gonna 
If it dissolves, it's going to be Ag plus Cl minus minus aqueous aqueous. And the equilibrium of this, if we want to do the constant, it's going to be the product of its concentration. So Ag plus times Cl minus. Okay, nothing really far away from our standard chemistry knowledge. So this P means minus log. Then we have minus log of Ks that is equal to 9.7. Okay, so if we're gonna do this K. Ks here is we got 10 on the base because there's nothing telling other thing so the k is the base to our potentiation I guess so it's 10 to the power of minus 9.7 it's the Ks that's equal to Ag times Cl in concentrations. Okay, nothing far away, it's true. But since when we are dissolving the salt, the each mole of salt, salt gives one mole of Ag plus and one mole of Cl min minus, its concentration must be equal. Then in the next thing here, we're gonna put the. I'm gonna say that Ag concentration is gonna be equal to Cl concentration, so it's gonna be Ag times Ag. Then concentration of Ag plus it's gonna be squared, okay? Because this is equal to this, so it's gonna be Ag times Ag, then Ag squared, and the concentration of Ag in the end, finally, it's gonna be square root of 10 times 9.7 in the power of 9.7. Right for better here. So, the answer to this you can do on your standard scientific calculator and it's gonna be where one dot four times ten to the power of minus five mole liter minus one. Why liter? Okay. Is this nothing really far away from our regular chemistry solving? Problems, the I think the hardest part is to think to do this mass balance that Ag, the concentration of Ag is gonna be equal to the concentration of chloride. Then this is it. I'm gonna to solve the rest of the problem and future videos that I think the the later part is gonna be far more interesting. And that is that. Thank you for watching. And kisses. Ah.